people living in public housing in Brooklyn are worried they will not be able to cook their Thanksgiving meals. The building has not had gas since July, and instead, residents have been forced to use hot plates in their apartments. They live in the Long Island Baptist houses in East New York. Iowa News News reporter Tom Negevin is there with the very latest. Tom. Liz, July 17th, that's the last time they had gas for any of the stoves in this NYCHA run building. NYCHA tells us it's a complicated repair and residents tell us it's just one of a lot of issues here. We have hot plates. Uh, the gas will be restored. We have no idea when. What answers are you getting from NYCHA? None. Tenants say they're forced to use their stoves for heat when the temperature drops, but with the gas shut off, they freeze and they can't cook. It's very outrageous. It's, 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 uh, and I spoke to the management office and they told me that there is nothing they can do about it. Most are afraid to speak on camera, fearing blowback from management. You just got back from buying two heaters. Just got back. Just got back. And you still don't have gas for your stove? You said no, we got no gas. Another issue here, and this one could be a serious safety concern. There was a fire back in May, and the debris never cleaned up. In fact, it's still blocking part of the fire escape. I mean, we're people too. Yeah. So <laughs> no, we pay you. rent. We. We have lives, I have a job. Tenants begged us to go to their local management office, saying they were certain we'd get some answers there. They were wrong. Their concern is they're paying rent and they're not getting any answers here. Later in the day, the housing authority responded with a statement saying in part, gas service interruptions and restoration work are a matter of public safety and involve multiple partners and steps, but giving no timeline for the repair. We have no heat. We have no gas. And no answers about when you'll get those things, right? I mean, That's why I'm glad you guys are here. Here's what NYCHA is offering instead. Because of the gas outage at your development, NYCHA will be providing a $15 gift card for every authorized household member you have. $15 gift cards each. Uh, they haven't received them yet, Bill and Liz, just the voicemail so far, which some folks here say made them actually even angrier, adding insult to injury, they tell us, just in time for Thanksgiving. Live in East New York, Brooklyn, Tom Negevin, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Kind of infuriating.